Jiggle Robinson, the title of the song. It's a reference to uh, a an old school sci-fi show that I, I used to catch the reruns of as a kid. Um, uh, where there was this, this family, they were lost in space. And the kid, Will Robinson, I don't know how he was, like 8 or 10 years old or something, he'd, he'd, be, he'd always go and get himself into trouble. He'd, he'd wander off when his family told him not to and there'd be this robot that would follow him around uh, like his guardian and protector and whenever danger was nearby it, it would warn him danger danger will robinson um and the the kid would always always ignore the warning and go go get himself into trouble anyway it means something special to me because it was the the end of a, a songwriting drought for me. It was a, it had been a dry season in songwriting, I, I, although I've been writing songs since I was like 18 or 17, 18. Um, and, and rock songs are the, the stuff that, that I love to write the most. Uh, I hadn't been able to write anything that really felt like myself, didn't feel it, it wasn't just that they didn't feel good, they just, just didn't feel like a reflection of who I was and what I was thinking about the world. Um, and so I just stopped writing for a while, um, which was, for me, is, is always a... I'm generally quite unhappy when I'm not writing music. <laughs> um, I feel more more alive when I'm, I'm writing. And, and I guess I wanted to tap into that, that, um, that element of... of of the song being a warning that like that the, the song might in some way be the the robot following us around that's saying hey don't go that way there's there's danger that way it's not safe if you go that way things are going to end really badly if you continue down that path um because really the the song for me is about some of the stuff that i saw happening around the world well particularly last year but you know in in 2019 but 2020 has been what 2020 has been and and i think it you know i didn't write the song with any of those things in mind but it, it seems somehow even more relevant than it did last year in terms of the the messages and the the ideas in the song you know i've seen things like uh like i really like what what felt like social unrest at the time but now i realize was just like the the beginnings of social unrest um, a lot of division online in, uh, between my friends and, and people that I love, different opinions and, about politics that were getting really, um, re really like there was no room for compromise, there was no room for discussion anymore, there, were, there was no room for, oh hey, that's a reasonable perspective that you have. And, and I, I really felt that, um, I, I was honestly, I, I was getting angry, I was getting frustrated that that we couldn't have that space for, for, for discussion anymore that where we could disagree. Uh, and I disagreed with people. I, I have my disagreements um, with their perspectives, their positions on things like Brexit and certain other world leaders um, that I won't name here. Um, the, the, how some leaders were, were seemed to be slow walking on the issue of climate change. And, and when people did disagree then um then then at least one side if not both sides would would kind of just shut the other down and um and and so i, I kind of that was what i was working through and what i wanted to, i wanted to be able to say what i thought at that time was true without having a fight with somebody online about it without falling out with my family because of it i wanted to be able to say this is what i this is i think this is a dangerous situation for us to be in um i think this is trouble for us if we keep going in this sort of way so really i reached for the only tool i have in those situations which is to to pick up my notebook and pen and guitar and and try and write a song about it and uh and so the there's Although it took a lot of time for these things to bubble up and, and come to the surface, where, when I finally reached for the guitar and, and uh, started hammering out some chords, 
that would eventually become the opening um, chords of the song, um, then then the lyrics just flowed right out. It, it, it really wasn't hard to write, I think. It took two or three drafts, the lyrics, within 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 a day it was done. As to the, the poetry and the lyrics, I, I struggled to find the way in for myself, like as to how I would start the song. Uh, I wanted to write it originally from my own perspective. Um, this is what I think, this was me on my soapbox, giving my opinions that, that people aren't listening to somewhere else. Uh, but it didn't work. I, I, I tried uh, multiple times for, to write it that way. It just didn't work out. Um, so in the end, I, I did this. I, I tried to sing it from a different person's perspective. I tried to to write this song, which is a protest song. It's not I don't agree with most of the things that are actually the lyrics that are in the song. Because they're not actually from my perspective. I didn't write them from my perspective. In the end, I, I, I created this character in my mind of someone who's a, a rich, powerful, older person who's in charge somehow. And and all these things that I worry about in the world that, that I was angry and frustrated about, that I wanted to protest um, climate change and uh, authoritarian leadership, things like that. Our, our echo chambers that we can't seem to get out of and, and um, it, the divides between us, um, those sort of things. Um, I sung about them from the perspective of someone who their, their world is, is not made worse because of them happening. So I, me, Ben, in, in the 2020s, I'm thinking these are terrible, we've got to avoid that. But the character in the song doesn't think that way. The character in the song thinks this was this these were the ways in which we made this world that you see now, and and I'm giving it now to my grandkids as a gift that this was a good thing. Um, so, and and it's from that perspective that those lines come about that um, you know gather round and I'll tell you how we made this brave new world that we that you see now. It's funny that it ends up at the beginning of the album because then kind of all the other songs, it's like you could see one way of looking at the album is this one massive flashback um, to to the person who's who's telling the story in, in that very first song. If you want to listen to the rest of the song, go check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play Store, anywhere that you would listen to music normally. Um, like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed hearing the story behind the song. Um, follow me on Spotify. Uh, I'm, I, although the album is now out, uh, I'm still going to be making music and releasing music in the future. So follow me on Spotify to get news of when that happens. And yeah, more breakdown videos coming in the future. Said the 